Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Pearl, and I am the founder of Curvy Queen Travel, and I will be giving tips and tricks for um, curvy individuals, curvy kings and queens, on how to travel best, and all of my tips and tricks will definitely help you throughout your way. I'm not only a curvy traveler, I'm also a travel agent, so I've experienced a lot of things, I have a lot of insights and info, and I'm so happy to share them with you. This first video, however, is actually a reviewing and unboxing of the new Bayes Barbie collection. I am one of the super lucky individuals that was able to get the entire collection that sold out within six minutes. I will now be unboxing. I received the first box yesterday. I was so excited, but I decided to wait until I got the entire collection to do it all in one go. So first off, I want to say that this is a completely honest um, review of the Bayes collection. I have not been sponsored. I bought all of these out of my own money. And so let's get started. So this is my first box. This is the one that arrived yesterday. I'll be unboxing it now. The first item I will show you, it says, get lost, find yourself, repeat. This is the makeup case, so let's see what we think. I'm already so excited. Looks like it came in plastic and then it was wrapped. It is so pretty. First of all, I love the color. Um, some of the Bay's items have been showing as different colors, so it's really hard to get like a super good idea of what you're looking at. It's lipstick pink, it's not hot pink, which I thought it might be, but it's super beautiful. And then it has this tag that says Bay's Barbie. Absolutely gorgeous and super excited. It's also got the little Bay's Barbie um, tag there. So let's open it up. Oh, it's so pretty, okay. So this says brushes, it's got, let's see if I can get you a better view of that. So it's brushes, it's nice, really pretty gold, which I love, that totally complements it. And you open it up and it looks like it's got elastic and it's actually, so this is not one big pocket, it's just got two smaller pockets. And then it's got an elastic right here, if you can see. And then it's got an opening right here for the makeup mirror. Let's see. Everything matches the same. And then it's got a really nice zipper right here compartment. It'll be really beautiful. And then this right here, if I can see where my hand is, is two smaller pockets. So lots of great storage, I will definitely say. Lots of room. For items I am very impressed with that and I thought I saw let's see yeah so it is removable actually the brushes sorry the brushes um, part is removable which is really cool if you just want a ton of space just for your cosmetics and then maybe you're just doing your cosmetics and you don't want to um, you want to separate them from the brushes and have those easily available that is a great feature. Let me see how this goes back in. Um, oh, it's magnetic. That was cool. Did you hear that snap? Magnetic. Awesome. And then let's check out the mirror. So wrapped in um, bubble wrap, which is really good. It's got a super cute logo. The Bayes logo. It's very silver. It's like a matte silver. And then, oh my gosh. So great. This mirror. Love it. And then also, I saw that it opens up, which is really great. And we'll just open up. It can sit. So you can do your makeup. Love that. Um, I did purchase the lighted mirror just to add to my collection. It hasn't arrived yet, so I'll definitely show a video when it does, and then I can compare and contrast it to this mirror. Also, if you have any questions with any of these items, 
leave it in the comments below. I will definitely try my best to answer. So that's our first item. All right, so here we go with our second item. I'm just gonna grab randomly out of this box. So this is, I believe, the travel wallet. Uh -oh, let's open it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Unbelievably pretty. Um, so it's got the raised, sorry, my hands, raised Bay's logo right there. Um, so amazing and it matches really well the color. It's a little bit different of a color from the rest, but it I think helps it stand out and super gorgeous. I don't really love having logos on a lot of my stuff, but this one's pretty. It kind of adds to it rather than taking away. It also comes with a longer strap, which is really great. It hooks onto the, the hooks on the back here. Let me unwrap this first. I love how it's packaged. It's packaged really nicely. I will definitely test out and make sure once it's um, full length, how it kind of falls on me and make sure that it fits well for curvy individuals. I am on the larger spectrum of curvy people. I'm about a US size um, women's 26 at Torrid and a 4 to 5X at Torrid as well in tops. So um, it'll fit me, it should fit you. Now let's look more in the interior. So it's got some really great pockets. What I will say about these pockets is they're the full length of the wallet, so they're probably not really meant to be card slots. Um, just really great storage here. They really thought of everything. I love it, absolutely love it. Okay, so we've got that. And that was in probably where they recommend to put the your ID. It also comes with an adorable Bayes pen. There we go, Bayes pen. Super cute. Um, it's actually, it looks like a pen, but it also has kind of a stylus thing here, which I really love whenever you're trying to, you know, write things on your phone, um, iPads, such as that. And then it also inside has another strap. So this is a wristlet strap. So I will also test this out. Being a curvy queen myself, I definitely have a thicker wrist. So I'll see how this strap works with my wrist. Um, let's take off the packaging here. Overall first impressions, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they, they look like they did a ton of work. I'm not seeing any loose um, threads, which is really great. The hooks and everything look amazing, the color. And these are matte, which I think is really cool. And yeah, looks good. So that part's amazing. And then, so we're on this side. So lots of little compartments, slots for your cards, for different licenses, things like that. And then it looks like this one also is the full length. The top one is the full length. And then it goes into the different slots for the credit cards and such. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna close it. Zipper works super well, so that's great. Here's a, a last look at the front. And then I'm gonna put a hook on this. So this is the wristlet portion. Um, let's see how it works. Works well, and I have a very thick wrist. So that is really good to know. And I can hold it very easily with the wristlet. So now let's try the cross body strap. It's very easy to hook on, I will say that too. These hooks are working really well, so that's good. Not giving me any trouble. And then let's go over my shoulder. That is not working well. Okay, so that's good to know. If you've got some um, big twins up in here, you might struggle a little bit to go full cross body. So let's see, I've got this all the way down. This is as far as it's gonna go. So, as you can see on me, that is not a good length. <laughs> that is like right below the twins. So, that's not gonna work very well, good to know. And then it looks like 
if I'm going to wear it with the strap, I'm going to have to wear it just on my shoulder. So if you've got some um, big twins, just be careful on that part of it. So that's really good to know. Okay, so that was the travel wallet. Super great. I love it overall. I'll still definitely keep it, even though the cross body strap isn't super long. I would recommend to Bays if maybe they can make the cross body strap a little longer for my curvy queens. Um, and then, you know, it's adjustable. So I think it would be fine if they did make it longer because you can just adjust it to whatever length you'd like. Okay, so let's get to our next item. This is, I believe, the um, passport holder and luggage tag. There we go. I would have loved if um, Bays could sell their luggage tags individually so you can put them on all your different luggage. That would be the best because um, I would love to have a fully cohesive um, collection. This is the case. Um, first of all, beautiful. Second of all, I believe, just so you guys know, this is TSA approved. So you can put all of your like three ounce cosmetics or whatever liquids you have when you're carrying on in this container. You can load it up with your three ounces instead of using a Ziploc. Um, a lot nicer way to carry your um, liquids when you're traveling on an airplane. And um, obviously it's clear. It'll be easy for them. So that's amazing. This is the... Um, luggage tag and the passport holder. Let me open them up for you. This right here is what it looks like. It has the Bayes logo here on a little matte um, edge right here. It's like metal matte. And then obviously gorgeous color. Looks amazing like all the others. So I'm opening it up. It is magnetic. So that's amazing. I love magnetic. And then we'll be opening it up. Oh my god! Cute. It's so cute. Okay, I gotta look at it myself. This is freaking adorable. All right. So, comes with a little Barbie passport. I can't. I can't. Okay. So, um, got the whole Barbie logo. This is the passport holder. It does say passport. It's like kind of printed into, um, like etched in the edge, which I think is really cool. Um, love that. And then also has that amazing. Bay's pen that comes with the travel wallet. It's got some little compartments, um, probably for IDs, credit cards, and then it also has another little opening flap there. That might be a good place to put your um, boarding pass when you're flying. I think that would be a really great place. It'll stick out a little bit, but that's fine. Um, definitely want to hold on to your boarding pass as best as possible. So let's give you one last look here. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So it has the the Bayes logo um, etched in here as well, like it does with Passport. So one last look, so cute. Love, 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 love. Okay, so got that one. Now we have our luggage tag wrapped up. Very pretty. Okay. This is our luggage tag. Um, it's got the matte little, um, little, cover here to adjust it to whatever you need. Um, so love that. I do notice that some of the, you know, um, holes, it looks like have a little white around them. I mean, I don't really care, but if you're super particular, you might kind of find that annoying. Um, and then here's kind of a look of that. Sorry, it's so reflective here. Um, so it does have the Bayes logo etched in here. And then, oh, another Barbie driver's license. I cannot get over how cute this is. They really paid insane attention to detail. Some of them will have like um, cards that have lines on them for you to write your own information. Doesn't look like it has that, so that would be the only complaint I would have. Not a big deal. Um, I usually just stick my business card in here. But um, if you're wanting to handwrite that, that might be a little annoying. But the, uh, the back of the um the driver's license is blank so you could kind of write on there with a sharpie and just kind of make your own so oh my gosh love it amazing so excited to travel with all of this i'm really hoping there's no damage on the items 
Um, this is a UPS um, delivery. I noticed actually my other box with my other luggage has even more damage. So hoping, hoping, hoping everything's okay. Um, so let me open this up. Here is the mini weekender. Um, let's start with this. Beautiful, first of all, love it. I am noticing just a little defect um, here. It's so small, you might not even see it on the camera. But yeah, it looks like just a little bit of the nylon um, is coming up. No big deal. Um, so these are the zippers, same as the other zippers. Um, looks like these straps are super pretty. They're the same shiny material that um, is on the other items. I was given a tip um, to potentially use Scotchgard spray on these. Um, I have heard that a lot of people's weekenders, like the um, top kind of canvas part, have gotten like scuff marks and such, but if you use um, the sprayable scotch guard, that's supposed to help. Um, but also, I was also told, I asked for specifics, do not use it on the bottom part that is shiny. It just goes on the canvas part. Okay, and don't hold me to this because <laughs> I don't know. I'll be using it myself though. I do have an Atlas Pink Mini Weekender and um, an Atlas Pink luggage. I am super happy to do a comparison of the different items versus the Barbie collection. I will do that on a separate video so you don't totally optional if you want to watch it. Um, but let's get into this. So this is amazing. Um, so it's got the zipper compartment same as others. Um, it's super deep if you can see. Very large hands. Um, oh please. I cannot get, there we go. Um, and then if you put it in, it, my hand goes literally all the way. So good to know about that. Um, and then turn it over. So one thing Vase has that's really cool, it has a zipper right here. So you can leave this zipped if you need extra storage. But the best thing to do is to open it up and then you can um, put it on your carry-on. So on top of it and just put it over the handle. It'll stay on there right there. So perfect. Um, seeing these straps, these are great. Um, again, plus size lady. Um, arms are pretty thick. Let's see how the straps do on my larger arms. Okay, so they fall off a little bit. Let's see if you can see. Fall off a little bit, but overall pretty good. Um, there's a lot of bags I actually can't even use, like Louis Vuitton and all that. I even went to try and see if my um, husband, boyfriend at the time, could get me a Louis Vuitton. I couldn't even get a Louis Vuitton because the straps weren't long enough. <laughs> so something that a lot of companies should consider. Um, so I've got that. Beautiful. And then this here is the bottom. Um super shiny super pretty and then it's got these little um little raised places i think to to make it sit better um so super amazing i know a lot of people use the um bottom for shoes is a great thing it's actually all zippered which is unbelievably cool i love bays um they're the best this is what it looks like inside um super deep great storage area um, I would say if you're storing it leave if you're storing it empty leave this inside you will see later that I have um, when I do the comparison video I have a weekender where I did not leave um, anything inside and it kind of smushed the bottom um, it was also a different material. It's like um, on the other weekenders, they have kind of like a, um, how do I explain it? Uh, like faux leather bottom. So if you don't kind of leave something in it, it won't really keep its shape on the bottom. So here we go. There's that. Super pretty for the outside. Now let's get on in the interior right here. So two zippers, super easy. 
to use. I love um, how this opens up really well. It has like kind of a, a rod in here, so just opens up really nicely and cleanly. Um, so I've got that. This right here is a great place to put your laptop, um, super easy access, going through security to pull it out. Although a lot of um, airports now um, actually have the ability to let you leave everything in. So just follow their instructions. Um, so this is a, I like to call it like a key leash. Um, you attach your keys to it. It's got a little hook right there. Um, super great for, um, you know, you're on your trip, enjoying. It'll keep track of your keys for when you get home. Um, love that. And then, looks so pretty. In the interior, it looks kind of hot pink. I'm not going to lie. It looks definitely brighter than the outside, but I'm really digging it. Um, and then, two really large pockets right here. Great for storage. And then, a large zippered compartment here. here. And it looks like that contains the um, shoulder strap, really nice. I love that they did the little details with the um, kind of shiny material here. Um, also, it's got the shiny here for like an arm strap. These really help. It actually, oh, that's so cool. It has like padding right here. I'm feeling like a jelly kind of padding, which I think will be really helpful if you've got a heavy bag um full of all your carry-on stuff um so that is amazing also don't quote me on it but i think um like almost all the airlines this mini weekender um would count as your personal item so if you're able to um have a carry-on and a personal item this would be the personal item to go under your seat and then you can have a carry-on um above in the overhead compartment also, pay attention because being a travel agent, I know this, um, a lot of fares nowadays, like the lowest, lowest fares do not include a carry-on, um, only a personal item for the seat in front of you. Zips on very nicely. And then, whoop, that was a fail. All right, here we go. And then, there we go. And there we go. Awesome. Let's stand up. Here is the full bag in all of its glory. Also, the logo imprinted right here of the um, base. So that's cool. Into the bottom of the bag. And then let's try this shoulder strap. Let's see if it'll pass the test. So over the arm, good. I don't usually wear it across body. But actually, crossbody is not bad. It's fitting pretty well. Um, and then I'm going to pull up the comfort strap for my shoulder. You can see it's right there. And yeah, I'd say that fits pretty well. Um, fits, obviously, I'd like it to fit a little bl lower below the twins. But, you know, overall, that's pretty good. I'm happy with it. So... Love this. Um, super cute and functional. Um, absolutely in love. Love the um, color also of the um, of the canvas here. Super pretty. Um, and I will show you what it looks like with the luggage once we're done with the luggage. Okay. All right. So here is the luggage. As you can see, it did arrive damaged. This actually is not the worst of it. That corner is definitely the worst of it. All these suitcases are kind of nestled in here. It comes with a little um, luggage tag. Obviously, let's see if I can get it a little closer. Not as nice as the luggage tag I paid for, but um, it is nice that they have that. This is the um, weight indicator. It will turn red, I believe, if your luggage is over 50 pounds, which is legit the most helpful thing in the world because I'm an overpacker and my goodness do I love that this can tell me that I'm overpacked. I usually have to weigh myself, weigh myself holding the luggage, and then subtract out my weight, which is very pleasant, especially right before a trip. 
The zippers right here are great. I love that this has a TSA approved lock. Um, super easy to use with that. So you just um, press down to release the zipper. 360 wheels, absolutely amazing. Zips really nicely. So this is a nice little storage pouch, removable as you can see. Um, and then it hooks in right here to these clasps. Um, I have to say, I love, love, love the pattern. If you can see that, it's so cute. Got the little Barbie logo and tons of little, like, what are these? These look like flamingos. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then on the back, we have some um, hot pink, like, matching netting. Super pretty. Love. They put so much effort and love into this product you can just tell i wonder why this sold out in six minutes this is no lie going to be very difficult to keep under um 50 pounds so i would use this more for like road trips um you can literally pack your entire life in these bags enormous but unbelievably beautiful um comes with these little bags that were in there let's see if i can lift them up so you can see um, so the cute little Barbie pattern and it says Barbie basics on it. So cute. And then this one also little bag to put some storage and stuff in. It says today is the best day ever. And now we are on to the most highly anticipated item. We're going to set up a little bit. Um, this lovely, lovely, lovely is the um, Barbie carry-on. Oh gosh, so cute. This is definitely, I think, my favorite um, part of the whole collection, that and the mini weekender. Um, love. Also, just so you know, I don't think I pointed this out, but they all have the logo right there etched into the bottom. And again, as I said, I don't usually love logos, but um, if they're done really like classy like that, it's fine. Also, there is the logo on here, but I can deal with that. that that's very easy. Another thing that is really cool, I was wondering about this. Um, this one, also the carry-on, also has the weight indicator. So that's really cool. Um, I know it's obviously not usually as big an issue. If your carry-on's over 50 pounds, it's just you're the one who's going to be lugging it into the overhead compartment, so that's on you. But it's nice to have, um, definitely. So here are the rollers. They move extremely well. Also, it has it has everything the other one has. It has the TSA lock. Um, it has the expandable option. Love the love 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 the attention to detail. They are amazing with all of this. It would appear no matter what size you get these adorable bags that are heaven. They'd be great for dirty clothes, great for shoes that you don't want to get all over your stuff. Great option. Um, I'll be showing a picture of the entire collection. And please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer as quickly as I can and to the best of my knowledge. I love the base handle. It's seriously the best um, because it has under here, if you can see it, this little black part. Um, this is a little gel thing to hold it. It makes holding and wheeling your luggage so much more pleasant and comfortable. All right, here it all is together. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.